than I tell her. I've learned a lot. Um, I always learn a lot from every set and from everybody I work with. But on this set, I learned uh, a good deal about lighting. And one of the biggest challenges of my job was uh, working with all the new people. I've worked with most of the people on set on set before, uh, but I never really personally worked with them. I knew them all and we've been in contact, but working with them super close uh, was definitely, it was really different to me, but I think we pulled it off it very well and everybody did a fantastic job. One of the high points of the production, finishing uh, any scene, is just a great feeling, knowing that you've gotten everything completed, watching the reactions, finishing, and um, kind of just bringing the story to life. It's always interesting working with a group of kids. It's always difficult working with a group of kids because we all have so many things going on. We have different personalities, different things going on. Um, but I like how we all kind of blend together and work through it and everyone just cooperates and it just, it, it's so good. I'm very glad about how this is turning out and I'm happy to be a part of it. I wanted to learn people skills and how to lead people because that is one of the steps you have to take to become a director and that is my ultimate goal. You have to know how to deal with people. So I'm trying to start small and handling the crew and just by leading them and being in charge I think helped me a lot to get to my goal. Towards the end you get very tired. Uh, and especially being one of the people in charge, you have so many responsibilities and so many people coming to talk to you and asking questions. But probably just interacting with the crew like on a daily basis, you are surprised on how some people act. I had the most amazing crew. They would pull through anything. I had a kid named Sean. He had a brace on his leg and he would still run around and do his grip work. And it just astonished me how dedicated these kids are and it was really beautiful to see the kind of people I got to work with. And I'm very thankful for that. I, I wanted to gain um, just experience working with other people, um, working with people on a large scale project like this. I mean, we've, um, throughout my four years here, I've made little short projects with, you know, a couple of my friends, but nothing like this. This was, uh, this is, a large indie film we basically made and um, that was definitely what I wanted to gain from this work. I wanted to gain knowledge on how to work with a big crew. Same sense was a, a scene with the ambulance and uh, all the extras. We had multiple cameras and it just took a lot of work so finishing it was a big high point in production because I remember reading the script and I was like oh boy this is gonna be hard to pull off but when we did it I felt very good and I gained experience from it. I didn't. Re I actually didn't know what I was going to expect because I've never been in a position like this before. And since I didn't know what I was getting into, but it was it was fun. I liked it a lot. Everyone is just a blast to work with. Richard, Zachary, Brianna. They're all just, just great and fun. They keep the energy up, and it's just it was just a good cast and crew, and they mixed well, so we had good chemistry. But since this is actually mimicking an entire Hollywood production, you actually get to see the hierarchy in real actions. In the student film, I got to work with a lot of I, I got to work with a lot of people in the crew. There were I think 60 plus in the whole production crew, and um, I think what I really wanted for the student film was to learn how to work with such an immense amount of people. Uh, ever since freshman year, I've always wanted to take part in the student film, but I never really had, I never really had the guts to actually go and <laughs> try it really. So this student film, I really wanted it to be the, one of the best so far. This is the 10th year of G-Star and I, I really wanted this film to go amazing. One of the hardest, most challenging things uh, being an actor is to make sure you know your role and to uh, know what you're going to be shooting that day and to be prepared to be uh, be prepared for the unexpected because sometimes you may think you're shooting something and the director may change it and you have to be prepared uh, to shoot anything at any time uh, and make sure that uh, you know the script and the story. Some of the days were longer than expected but uh, that's you know that's filmmaking and uh, there are days when I thought, hey, it's only going to take an hour or two, and it took four, but uh, not uncommon. 
One of my highest points in this production would have to be really just seeing how everyone works together and puts in their own creative idea and really just finding out, you know, in the moment of how each character reacts towards each other. So it was really cool. This is my first film, so I really needed to remember every move I made, every step I took, you know, and I came from theater, so it was kind of different there, but um, I I got over that stump, so it was pretty good. The, the biggest thrill was to, to work with the students as young professionals. They really exceeded my expectations. Um, they did their work uh, beyond what you would expect a student and more like a professional. We tried to model the crew like a, a professional experience where you had your producers, the exec, the production manager, and everyone had a specified job, but we all had one goal to make the best film possible. And I think that we, we've accomplished. It was really a thrill to work with such uh, dedicated and talented students. Okay.